This is our new house. What? What? Okay. It's being built. Let's see if I can get inside before the battery runs flat. This is another shot of it. There, yeah, seems to be. This is what the inside of an unfinished house looks like. I've got up there. This is the. Uh, this is going to be the rumpus room. There's double sliding doors there into the family room and kitchen. And that up there is, through that door there would be the dining room and lounge. I'll go through that door. Alright, this is the, into that lounge and dining room. And the, that's going to be an archway there into the entrance hall where Christopher just came in. This is the arch, and then through the arch into the passageway leading down to the bedrooms. Christopher's going down into his bedroom. You're going to be here, Chris. I'm standing at the, uh, in our bedroom now, looking down the other end of the house. I just came out that door there, that's the laundry door there, leading out the back. I'm not going to waste my time inside very much because you can't tell how, you know, the size of anything. This is the back of the house, and that's a, that's a sliding door there, leading from the rumpus room out the back. I'm standing on the back boundary fence marker here. That's where my, my car's on the road there. And uh, mm, that concrete drain is just outside of our property. And that white, first white stick there is the other boundary, that's the other corner. And uh, we're still around the back of the house. It all looks a bit barren around here because ours is the first house to be started in this in this street here. But where those houses are up there, uh, there's going to be houses all the way around. This is just a new part of the estate, and there's one being built opposite. It's just a framework up up at the moment. Let's go around this front again. That's that sliding door into the rumpus room. As you can see, they're getting ready to lay the tiles on the roof. They'll put the doors on and then uh, that's called lock-up stage where they can work, in, work inside from then onwards and the weather doesn't bother them. That's our meter box. They have to be outside. And the front water tap there. And there, on the corner of the house. Sunday morning now. Um, before everybody gets up, I'm going to take this camera around the garden now because the garden has changed a lot in the last couple of years. And I'd like to see it on, on film. Julie's up. You gonna come and say hello, Julie? I'm <laughs> She's dressed. Catch me with my face first thing in the morning. I should have come in when you were in. Is that why you got up quick? Just in case I came in when you were in the bedroom. Huh. In bed.
Well, let's go and have a look around. This is our next door neighbour now, and that's our boundary just down there. So we've both got bark as well. Pine bark, this is. All pine bark, all around the edge. And all these plants in here, and young shrubs, are all various natives. Trees, they're all native trees. That's our gas meter. <laughs> they have to be outside. That's our lounge there, looking into our lounge from the still from the front. Number 80. That looks up the um, side now, up to the patio that I've extended. I'm going to walk up there now. Before I do, let's just get out of the sun. That's our electricity meter box. This is a, a native rose, climbing Banksia rose. It's about to go mad all over that wall. That's Shelley's bedroom with a, um, what do you call them? Bamboo blind because the sun comes here in the afternoon. Now this here on this wall, that's a passion fruit. It's covering this wall now. <laughs> Panning around from that, we've got um, some fruit trees along here. There's a couple of uh, dustbin trees. There's a couple of apple, no, there's an apple tree there, one there. This is a peach tree. It's now got some peaches on it. This first crop. That there's a little Christmas tree. Still hasn't grown. That's a pear tree there. This is a lemon tree that's uh, only been in a few months. The other one died. It's got some lemons on it though. This is now looking up towards the vegetable garden. Let's walk up that way. Around the back now. This is an orange tree. There's oranges on this and it's in flower. This is our grapevine. Coming along nicely, actually got a few grapes on it. Tucked in there. And behind that trellis is the vegetable garden. Let's just have a quick run over that. This is for me, so I can see. Onions, There's beans, young beans. Up against the fence, there is um, snow peas, climbing snow peas. Lettuce. And that tree in there is a um, fig tree. With a row of potatoes ready to dig. Beetroot, carrots. There's a couple of sticks in there. The tomatoes have started coming up all over the place, and I'm, I've got such poor tomatoes this year that I'm going to let a couple of those grow. There's uh, capsicums and peppers in there. I mean, no, peppers and chilies in there. And that tree there is a grapefruit tree. That's also got a lot of fruit on it. Again, only been in a few months. That's surrounded by celery. That row is celery. Cabbage. Zucchini. Three, three zucchini there. I'm getting close to it. They like uh, they like baby marrow. You, you pick them when they're small. Over there, see what they are? They're tree onions. Just one clump of tree onions. Now we're ready to pick off the top and save for planting next year and what's under the ground we'll eat. And that's my my poor tomatoes. Most people have got most people have got tomatoes on their plants now. <laughs> These haven't even flowered yet.
and here we've got uh, red currants and black currants and over there that's the raspberry jungle again which is coming out in a few weeks getting rid of them as soon as I've picked all these nice ripe raspberries but nobody's game to go in this corner it's full of well who knows what it's full of I'll take you in the corner just to show you what a mess it is These are compass bins. And I've found all sorts of goodies around here. I've found quite a few redback spiders here. So nobody's game to come around here anymore. Let's go back over this way. Into the sun. Past this apricot tree. That big tree there is a gum tree. It's a blue gum. I grew that from a seed. fast growers and more that's a gardenia there and a couple more azaleas over the back there all under bark and a few tomatoes there I've got something interesting to show you in the shed I'm not sure about the light in here but I'm going to open up this cupboard And in that jar, I've got a pet red back spider. Well, hardly a pet. Like he doesn't come when I call him. I don't know if you can see it. It's at the top. Let me lay it down and I'll focus it properly. Now I've had to tip him out because he's, you're never going to see him that way. That is a red back and that is poisonous. That's our equivalent of the um, black widow. The American black widow. I don't know if you can see. I don't know what you can see. I'm pretty close to it. And that red stripe on its back obviously is where it gets its name from and they're pretty deadly all the other spiders that I put in this jar to feed it on no matter how big they are they're goners I think I'll try and put it back now without you watching safely tucked away let's get out of here You see Shelly? Last little bit of garden anyway. That's a nectarine tree. A few more native shrubs in bark. I spent a lot of money on this bark. It's worth it because um, Saves having to water, that's our water heater. That gets pretty hot. That's, that's where our water tank is. That's hot now. <laughs> that's gas. And there's the last few remaining shrubs, creepers and so on. I'm back over there looking at the vegetable garden. That's the patio and the pergola that I've built, but uh, we'll get a look at that later. It's not finished. Well, it's not finished being painted. My desk, my messy desk. It's a bookcase in this rumpus room. into the family room. And somebody's out here. <laughs> somebody's there. 
Oh, Nicholas there. Pardon? Pardon? I want you to video my cake before we cover it up. Cake? Yeah. Where is it? In the lounge. Do you want to go and get it? This is the cake Nicola made. Christmas cake. Gee, I wish I knew how this was coming out. Anyway, I think uh... What do you say, Nicola? Next time I'll sleep here and then I'm going to get on. I'm not getting you, I'm getting all the junk that's out here. Mum's going to go mad when she sees this. <laughs> right, I'm going outside anyway to get a picture of the house. Oh, the garden, I mean. See our new floor? Bursting out. And heading out the front door. Don't know if you saw this before, this is a slate. And this is a lounge. If I move around here, that door there leads back into the kitchen. So we're looking at the kitchen from the other angle now. Right now, and uh, a couple of the children have got up. <laughs> and having breakfast. Shoving food into their faces. Oh, another nice big one, Chris. <laughs> this is Christopher. Get some more on the spoon, Chris. What are you eating, Shirley? Nutella on toast. Pardon? Nutella on toast. What's in there? The drink? Milo. <laughs> Can't get milk in bottles anymore. Going down to Jay's bedroom, because I understand he's still asleep. No, he's up. This is the boys' bedroom. It's Jay's. I found Jay. 
Where is he? What did you say, Jay? <laughs> I'm getting ready. Oh, what? To face the camera? Yeah, go on, you can look in the mirror, that's alright. <coughs> oh dear. Why don't you cough, Jay? That's deafening. Dad, don't come in the laundry! Why, what are you doing? Oh, that sounds like an invitation to come in the laundry to me. I was just going to say, I haven't just said anything. You probably yeah. wouldn't have gone in there otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> is your face alright now, Stephen? Let's have a look at your face. Let me see if your face is alright. <laughs> wow. What? I'm painting those covers. Sorry, dear. Things ready to take out today. That's better. I had it, didn't have it on automatic. Try and do what? Get some things ready to take out today. I'm not taking much of my food, I'm just taking um, the meat and coleslaw. That'd what? be enough, won't it? What meat? Chops and sausages. All right. What's the temperature going to be today? 27. 27. Do you want to wear my pants? Not the new ones. No, you're not having that. No. You got your top on, Nicola. Got on. What are you wearing, Chris? I Have you cleaned your I'm going to look at your bedroom, Shelley. Boys? Shelley? Yeah. Put your bedroom light on. This is a strawberry shortcake room. Turn the light off please, shall we? It makes any difference. This is all pink. Go across there to the boys' bedroom. Shelley, do you know, can you open the curtains in my bedroom, please? In your bedroom. Yes. Thank you. Can you see this camera? This is a, a video 8, 8mm camera. Let's see if you can have a good look at it. You can't see it because all you can see is from the front. This is our ensuite, incidentally. We're getting ready to go out by the way, we're going to meet Dennis and Marjorie, our friends, and we're going to have a barbecue on the banks of the Yarra River, hopefully. Yes. 
Can you open Nicola's curtains, please? Oh, Nicola said her room's all messy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Nicola's bedroom's a mess. Where's Nicola's dollies? Where's your dollies, Nicola? Where are all your dollies? I said, where are all your dollies? I don't have dolls. <laughs> Shirley, don't you touch anything in bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to do stuff. What'd you do? Brushed my hair and opened the curtains. <laughs> Dirty washing. In the laundry. Who wants to brush their teeth? You have to do. Not yet, anyway. Is that rubbish, is it, Julie? Really? <laughs> yes. This is an everyday story of uh, the Sport family. <laughs> Not for the want of trying, dear. Pardon? I've got a warning light, I'd better switch it off.